It may not be the first thing you think of when it comes to deterring crime, but its simplicity may be what makes this such a, dare we say, bright idea. Auburn Police next month plan to hand out about 2,000 security light light bulbs to people living in Auburn. Joining us now to talk more about this is Auburn Police Chief James Slayton. Thanks so much for being with us, Chief. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about handing out these light bulbs. Um, how will it help you do your jobs and hopefully deter criminals from doing theirs? Well, we've noticed over the years that when you're driving down the street as a patrol officer, it's difficult to see down the streets. They're dark, not well lit. Um, it's actually the brainchild of Officer Michael Bufano who came to, up with the idea to get a hold of NYSAG and try to get some light bulbs for all the neighbors um, so they can have the front porch, back porch lights on to deter some crime. Let's talk more about that. When the officers are out there and the neighborhoods are so dark, uh, how does that deter them from doing their jobs? Well, it's very difficult. If, and we found out over the years that if somebody is in a well-lit area, they're less likely to go steal something from somebody or be on someone's property. If it's dark and they're, they're wearing dark clothing, it's more difficult for the police to locate them. So you would like to see more neighborhoods lit up. Um, what's the distribution plan? Because I'm sure as people are listening to this, they're going to want to ask, how do I get my hands on one of those? Yeah, so July 15th from 9, to 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. in City Hall parking lot at 24 South Street in the city of Auburn. We're gonna hand those light bulbs out. While we're doing that, we're gonna have a team go out into the neighborhoods. And I'm also, with any leftover bulbs, we're gonna put in the back of the patrol cars. So if they are at a residence and someone wants the bulbs, they can assist them in installing them. And you've got a partnership with this NYSAG. How did NYSAG get involved? Correct, Officer Michael Bufano reached out to somebody at NYSAG. And that's when they partnered up with us and said, hey, we can help you out. We can give you these bulbs. Go on at night, go off in the morning, and they cost about $3 a year per bulb to operate. Well, so why wouldn't anyone take advantage of this, right? It's not costing them anything, and it could save their properties. Yeah, we took that into account. We have a lot of low-income people. You have a lot of elderly people that can't afford stuff. And at $3 per year, we thought it was affordable. We want to uh, switch gears a little bit because a study just came out by an engineering firm hired by the city recommending finding a new place for your police department. How much have you outgrown your current headquarters? Well, the architect realized that we're, we are in a building of about 20,000.